Annyeong, Singudur. I am your Korean friend Ailey, and in this time, we're going to learn the subject marker and object marker. What are they? What is subject marker? What is the object marker? I'm going to tell you that in an easy way with the comparing English and Korean sentences. So let's look at the English sentence first. So English sentence, Hailey plays the piano, right? I play the piano. So Hailey plays the piano. It's an English sentence. An English sentence, let's look at this. Hailey plays the piano. So play is the verb, right? And then Hailey is the subject. I play the piano, right? So this is the subject. And then Hailey plays the piano. It's the object, right? So this is the object. English know what is the subject and object because Hailey comes first. So it becomes subject, right? And then piano, it comes the last. So we know, ah, this is the object. We know it, right? Let's look at the Korean sentence. So Hailey plays the piano in Korean is Hailey ga piano choyo. This is the Korean sentence. And then first of all, you have to know Korean use the verb in the last. So in English, it's come in the middle. But in Korean, we use the verb in the last. So, 쳐요 is the play, okay? And then, 헤일리가 피아노를 So, 헤일리가 피아노를 We put something more after subject and object. We write something more in here. They are called subject marker and object marker. So in Korean, after the subject, we use the subject marker. And then after object, we use object marker. So these are the things that we're going to learn today. Okay? So I'm going to explain these particles, these marker more in here. Okay, 친구들, so I wrote the subject marker and object marker. Subject marker, I wrote Hailey, Hailey, and Tom, Tom. So I want to use Hailey as a subject, so like this. Hailey plays the piano. Like this, Hailey do something. Hailey is the subject. Hailey, and then you have to put something else after Hailey. In this case, you have to put the ka. Hailey ka like this because when you see the last syllable of Hailey, there is no pachim. If look like this, there is pachim, right? But in here, there is no pachim. So in no pachim, you have to put the ka. And let's look at here. Tom, Tom, there is pachim, right? There is something. In the last consonant, right? So in this case, you have to put the E. So, Hailey ga, blah, blah, blah. And then to me, blah, blah, blah. They become the subject. Second, let's go to the object marker. Piano is like piano. And then lemon, lemon. And then let's make these into the objects. You can just put the object marker. And then piano. Look at here. Is there a bachim? No, there is no bachim. There is nothing in the last consonant, right? And then we can put the l in here. Piano. Piano. And it becomes the object. Good? <laughs> I want to use the lemon as the object. And then what do I have to do? Put the object marker after this. Object marker. And then what is the object marker? Look at here. The last syllable has the patim, the last consonant, right? And then in this case, you have to put the ul. So it becomes lemon ul. Lemon ul. Okay? And now you mix the subject and object. Let's make the sentences. Let's do that. Okay, so in this case, I want to make the sentence like this. Hailey plays the piano. Let's make that. Hailey ga piano를 piano를 
And then I want to say, "Hey, Lee, place the piano." So, "Hey, Lee, ga piano de," and then place "cho yo." So, "cho yo." So it becomes, "Hey, Lee, place the piano." Okay, "Hey, Lee, place the piano" is, "Hey, Lee, ga piano de cho yo." Okay, great. And then the second sentence I want to make is, "Tom." Eats lemon. Let's make that. Tommy, lemon, lemon. Er, it's an object. Lemon. Er, eat. 먹어요. 먹어요. And we finish the sentences. Tommy, lemon. Er, 먹어요. One more time. Tommy, lemon. Er. 먹어요. Very good. Now you know the subject marker and object marker, and then you can make the sentences. Great, great. Okay, 친구들. So we learned the subject marker and object marker. Did you understand everything of this class? I'm very happy that you follow this class till here. That is amazing. This is amazing. And if you want to have more class with me, I have koreanhaley.com, my website. You can register more class there. And then I have a TikTok and Instagram account. You can visit there. And I hope you see you in the next time as well. If you can make more sentences with these grammar. Please let me know in the comments below. I want to see your sentences as well. Okay, 친구들, thank you for coming to the class. 친구들, 안녕.